So TBSID is Therapeutic Behavioral Services for Children with Intellectual Delays. The participant is typically seeing an individual therapist weekly, and TBS is brought on as an adjunct service to provide stabilization of severe behaviors that are putting the participant at risk for a higher level of care or hospitalization. TBSID is also unique in that the program is intensive and individualized, so there's a great amount of flexibility to meet the family needs. Our program is typically short-term, meaning under a year, and intensive, so we meet two to three times a week for one to two hour sessions. It recognizes neurodiverse folks and that they can experience a wide range of big emotions that generate acting out or acting in behaviors. Our program takes a deep dive, looking at the social, emotional, and psychological lives of this group of individuals who live in a society where they are unique. They're a minority group who think differently and they perceive the world differently. And I think it makes sense that they would have an emotional response and behaviors existing in a world that's not tailored to their needs. It helps me um, help everyone the way they need to be helped. It's not something that is for everyone, everyone has their own unique needs and TPS ID kind of takes me out of my comfort zone to provide the best and effective interventions for each participant and family. The TBS ID program is unique in its flexibility and adaptability. We work collaboratively as a team, often with the primary therapist, occupational therapist, school therapist, um, to provide interventions tailored to the child and their unique needs. We are funded under Medi-Cal and we have a cutoff age at 21 and we have served youth up until their 21st birthday. We work with youth across Santa Clara County from San Jose to Palo Alto. Our participants have a mental health diagnosis such as anxiety, depression, ADHD, or oppositional defiant disorder, as well as presenting some sort of learning differences such as being on the autism spectrum, having an intellectual disability or a pervasive developmental delay, etc. In addition, participants must have Medi-Cal and must have a behavior that is endangering their placement at home or putting them at risk of a psychiatric hospitalization. We collaborate and support parents and caregivers by providing psychoeducation, community resources and interventions that support the well-being of their child. Services are provided in the home, uh, school, out in the community, um, which really allows us to meet the child where they're at. And I go to you, really, wherever you feel like you need me, either at home or in the community or at school, that's where I will be. If you think you would benefit or know youth who would benefit, you would call our coordinator who would assist you in making a referral. The referral includes a simple one-page straightforward form to be completed and the primary therapist must add TBS ID as an intervention in their treatment plan and send a copy of this treatment plan to us. A typical timeline starts with a referral and a 30-day assessment where I get to know the participant and the family and then we work to co-develop a treatment plan with goals that meet their individual behavioral needs. Every three months we review our goals, the progress, discuss any barriers, and adjust the treatment plan as needed. We begin to taper our intensive services until youth is at a place of being ready to graduate and we hold a small celebration of completing their goals for the youth. They can always be re-referred for more services if they relapse into behaviors again. The reason why I love it is because I get to know all different types of people and I get to be, help people be the best version of themselves. Um, and making lives a little bit easier for families and the participants. The relationships we develop with the individuals and their families and their school environment is so rewarding. That's the most rewarding part of my work. Observing the growth and the positive change in their lives. And oftentimes the youth don't even want to end services because of the close bonds that they have formed with us. And my favorite part about working with the TBSID population is their engagement, their willingness to try new interventions and to learn. And then once you've built rapport with these families, you're really in and you can do some deep and meaningful work.